Hello everyone and welcome back to Ice Ice Outpost here in our frozen wilds in Planet Zoo where I hope you guys are ready to jump in and help me out with lambing season! It is time my friends to carry on the challenge that Ice Ice Outpost is currently facing where we are doing our best to go ahead and we are trying to be able to complete our part of the Howling Harmony Challenge. Releasing, oh dear, releasing 60,000 North American animals into the wild and I just really love the idea that Ice Ice Outpost is going to participate primarily through the little doll sheep who are indeed native to North America so they totally count as a animal to release to the wild and I love the idea that since it's Howling Harmony I did say that we would probably do like a statue of a wolf and we might still do a statue of a wolf, but I kind of think it would be really fun to do like a statue of a sheep if we end up getting all the way up from silver to gold level on this challenge and we do it through sheep. So my goal is to try to breed as many sheep as possible. In fact, another new sheep has just been added into the zoo. Excellent. Or excuse me. <clears throat> into the Ice Ice Outpost Outpost, which is absolutely excellent. And I'm really hoping that she will soon be expecting some lambs of her own. And we're going to have a little lambing season. And hopefully when all these little lambs grow up, we'll be able to release them to the wild. Oh, hey! Nanook, the Arctic wolf, has matured! Oh, that's so exciting! We're actually gonna have to go ahead and give her some space. Like, she might have to go into a trade center. And a put has just matured, her sister. Oh my gosh. Okay, we might have to go ahead and release these little ones in just a minute. And then Ancient Old Howl seems, he seems to be having some issues. We've got to figure out what's happening with our 18 year old Arctic Wolf named Howl in just a minute here. But I've got to check in on these lambs first and foremost because I think we'll be able to complete this challenge with the lambs. And if we complete the challenge, we already have gotten to silver at least, we will have that fun crossover episode where we'll be able to go into our zoo crafting world. <gasps> Cherry Berry the Red Band is about to die of old age oh that's so sad but basically we'll be able to have that fun crossover episode rest in peace cherry berry oh that's so sad but she lived a very long time you guys 17 years i will name one of her many 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 granddaughters that are hanging out in here after her let's grab should we go with this granddaughter hello little one you're now going to be a cherry berry the second after your grandmother there we go Ah, what was I saying? <laughs> but basically, if we complete the challenge, I can't wait for that crossover episode in Zoo Crafting where we will celebrate something Ice Ice Outposty by adding in a statue and something special from this Ice Ice Outpost village into the Zoo Crafting world because I love doing crossovers between all of our different series. Also, I completely forgot about the snowman that I made all that time ago. We should definitely build some snowmen sometime soon. But right now, let's go ahead and occupy ourselves with making sure that the lambs are all taken care of, that we can release any sheep that we have who are extras and ready to go, and that we can try to take good care of our animals that we do have. So sheep first. All right, let's come over here. This was the very first pen that began it all when we were actually working with Ice Ice Outpost way back in the beginning. And let me check, we actually have Rachel's sheep pen. So this is the shepherd's nook, where the shepherds keep their sheep. I really, this is so old now, we could definitely update this in so many new ways to make this look even better. But right now, let's go ahead and check in on the doll sheep. I think we have Oliver and we have Ram Collins. So Ram Collins is actually a gold level male. He's also almost 17 years old. How long does a doll sheep normally live? Let's check that out. About 18. So I think Ram Collins is actually not gonna be with us much longer. He is the dominant alpha male of his little herd here. And the hierarchy is by age and horn size. So because he's older and his horns might be bigger because he's older, he actually would be dominant over our other male, Oliver. So Oliver's, no, but Oliver's actually the dominant one in here. Do you see that? Wow. Oh, heck. And Pena, our polar bear just died of old age. No. Oh, dear. It does happen, though. It does happen. We need to make sure that her daughter has been darted so that she won't go. And oh, my gosh, she had a little baby and I didn't even realize it. Oh, my goodness gracious. All right, Ford. 
Ford, we're going to go ahead and put you on contraceptive so that you don't breed with your daughter. And we'll deal with this in just a little bit. Sheep first. You really have to pick one thing to do when you are tackling a, plant, a day in Planet Zoo and just handle that. All right. So if Ram Collins is now no longer the alpha because he has gotten too old, what we can actually do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to release him into the wild in just a minute here because I think that he counts as like quite the elder. Oh, but he's playing with this. That's so cool. Hmm. And I mean, with his gold level, I kind of want him to try to like maybe get some of these sheep pregnant. That would be really nice if he could if he could pull that off before he passes away. But if Ram Collins is dominant, oh, and now how the Arctic Wolf has died. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so sorry that oh he died peacefully in his sleep. That's a good thing. Oh, I'm so sorry that we have had so many deaths of old age, our polar bears and our Arctic wolves. Uh, but hopefully. Hopefully, the birth of some new, happy, healthy little lambs will definitely help us all. And Ram Collins, since he is not the alpha, so I don't think he's going to try to mate with a whole bunch of the females that we have added in, we're going to go ahead and we'll release him to the wild. Because I'm pretty sure that he won't try anything since Collins, being younger and still pretty healthy and still pretty fertile, will probably be the one uh, to just dominate this area. So Ram Collins, to the wild you go, my friend. Oh, and Ram Everest is about to die of old age. No, we're gonna release him to the wild. Huh, now we don't have to see another animal die of old age. Oh yes. Okay, that makes me really happy that we didn't have to see him die of old age. Not happy that he was old. Maybe we'll just come to the pen. This is another shepherd's nook. This is the sheep bachelor herd usually. So maybe we came back here and like oh, a wolf got him in the cycle of life. The, uh, the snowy pine wolves over here, the wild glacier arctic wolves, I think may have had something to do with his sudden disappearance. However, by being able to adopt him before he turned into an elder, we did like get up a couple more notches. So that's good, but it seems like our sheep are feeling a little bit crowded because there's so many of them. So let's check on our doll sheep here in the lumberjack shed. Yeah, this is supposed to be the lumberjack's uh, sled with reindeer. However, we don't have reindeer in here. We have mostly sheep because Ice Ice Outpost is mostly about those sheep right now. And we have Ontario... He is our only male right now, and he is actually a young, healthy, seven-year-old, gold-quality male. And I think that he can go around and hopefully, he has a white wool coat, hopefully get a lot of the females that we have added in here ready to have little lambs. So fingers crossed, Christmas joy! <laughs> little old Miss Christmas joy is now 18, and she has had many children for us. I'm gonna make sure, yeah, she's got Christmas Joy the sixth is here and she has a little son named Symington. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness gracious, so much stuff is happening all at once. Let's see, let me see. Oh, Zoe the doll sheep just passed away of old age. Oh, Zoe, I'm so sorry. Jeez, everything is so busy right now. And there's like, Siberian tigers maturing and they're gonna start fighting if we don't do something about that um, I'm gonna go ahead Put a couple of them in the Trade Center. That's probably not gonna Winter Woods of Zoe Holmes and Sharon. I think Sharon's gonna grow up in just a second here Holmes, I'm going to go ahead and release you my boy There we go. <gasps> yes, one of our doll sheep is expecting offspring. Good job, Ontario. All right, wonderful. Sorry to just zip past the tigers, guys. Like I said, you have to pick one thing and focus on it. Today it's sheep, because we're gonna have lambing season. But all right, I added in a whole bunch of females. How big of a herd can our doll sheep have before they start to think that things are getting a little crowded? Let's actually find out, go into their species data. Their group size, excluding babies, can be up to 40. So we can actually have our male and then 30 females what so Ontario would be very happy even if we had 39 other females in him in like other females in here with him what on earth Ontario ambitious 
He really wants to like watch over a huge herd. Holy cow. He does want more enrichment in order to stay satisfied and happy with life though. So let's go ahead and get that enrichment up so that all of the doll sheep will be happy in here. And then we're gonna come in, huh, we're gonna roll up our sleeves and we're gonna try to improve the area for the sheep so that we can expect lots of new babies. And we might even try to get a few sheep and we'll rename this. This is usually the bachelor herd area, but we'll go ahead and give it a new shepherd's nook name so that we can try to get even more baby lambs here and going. So, all right. Ontario, our wonderful doll sheep, you actually want to have more toys in here for all of your herd. I like to think that he's trying to make sure that all of, all of the females under his watch are happy. Because if they're not, they'll just leave him and go to another sheep. Um, and we're going to do another... Oh, look at the snow! It's been so long since I've seen snow! Wow! We'll add in a few more food pieces. And then they would like more toy enrichment. So let's put in a rubbing pillar somewhere back here. And there we go! So now he would be 100% happy. They think space is getting a little bit tight. And we should definitely improve the meal quality. We should have enough money now that we can feed our sheep some of the best stuff. So let's go ahead and increase the food quality for our sheep. There we go. And then let's come over this way. Oh, I totally forgot to give the other sheep. Normally when we have a sheep leave, we give them a quilt. And I totally forgot to do that for all of these ones, but we'll get there eventually. All right, and then we want grade three food quality for everybody in Rachel's sheep pen for the little shepherd's nook. Oh, look how pretty this is with all of the snow now. Oh heck, and now Snow Blossom is about to mature. Oh my gosh. We don't even have like any time to catch our breath on any of this, do we? Oh, Snow Blossom, are you in here? Oh, look at the wolves. They're all sleeping in here. Oh, and Evergreen. Evergreen has gone ahead and she has actually matured too. All right, she should be in there with her siblings. We'll have to, we're going to work on the wolves in just a little bit here. But for now, we're working on the sheep. Oh, Tyler's about to mature. Yes. Grow, Tyler, grow. The little lamb is about to grow up, guys. And once he does, we can release him to the wild for this, like, wonky lambing season we're having. Very exciting. Let's see, let's see. And then what did these guys think? They could really use a higher mill quality another bit of food enrichment, and they would like to have a little more space. So I think there could be some creative ways we could try to give the sheep a bit more space, especially like over here. People might not see them as often because they might be hiding back here, but I think that we could even try moving this vet building over a little bit. And I feel like we should make it easier for the keepers to be able to take good care of their sheep. What habitat is so messy? Aha! Now here's the downside of having so many sheep. <laughs> we have a lot of sheep poop going on right now. You've got to scoop that, my friends. You've got to keep it nice and tidy. So let's come in and we're actually going to, let me pull up our awesome list of wonderful patrons. And thank you so, so, so much. Like I always say from the bottom of my heart to everybody who has been able to become our patron, because it truly does make a huge difference for Chips and I at being able to come in and create these big adventures to share with everyone. But we're gonna add in a couple shepherd experts where their only responsibility, their only work zone is going to be to these sheep so that we can try to get them as happy as possible and thriving as much as possible. Also, Simmington's about to go ahead and age up. Yes, Simmington, do it. And then I can release your mother without feeling too guilty about it. Christmas Joy, the, the 10th? Is that the 10th? Oh my gosh, no, that's the 5th. <laughs> Christmas Joy definitely deserves a little bit of, uh, a little bit of relaxing time. All right, where is she? There is she. Christmas Joy, I'm gonna go ahead and release you in just a second, once your son ages up here. And then while we wait for him to age up, I kinda wanna get another one of the little display sections for the quilts that the sheep have. There we go. And then grab this part, grab the torches. All right, I'm going to copy that. Ha ha! And we've got it! So like this thing is kind of like a, um, 
a display section for all of the quilts that the sheep can end up creating. And I really love it. Let's see, where should I put it? Where, oh, where should I put it? I think there's a path, actually. Yeah, there's a path right down here. Let's put it over... Maybe... Over here? Over here? Oh, Simmington has aged up! Yes! Gosh, where should I put it? I'm thinking about it too hard. But I want this to be over here so that we can go ahead and add in more quilts to kind of honor the sheep who go by. Like Simmington! Simmington, we're about to release you to the wild. So I'm gonna put this down. I don't think we ever got a chance to actually name Simmington, but we're gonna put in uh, Sim -ing -ing -ton. Hmm, Simmington's Quilt. Your name isn't spelled right, my friend, but uh, you know, I mean it in my heart at least. All right, so here is Simmington, and he's actually ready to go into the wild. He's gonna try to fight with Ontario uh, if we don't release him. So Ice Ice Outpost gets some more points for being able to go ahead and add to the wild sheep. And then we're gonna actually let our wonderful, very old, almost 19 year old Christmas Joy the fifth go ahead and go to the wild too because she has earned a nice retirement. So we're gonna go ahead and say that she's actually like retiring to some very nice pasture where she just gets to bask in the snow. She gets to relax in the beauty of everything every day and just doesn't have to be under the public eye anymore. So Christmas joy, my dear. Having given us oh so many children, in fact, I think she has, yeah, have, having given us Christmas Joy, the sixth, Wadsworth and Symington, thank you oh so much. Look at her cool genetic identity. I can't wait to have time to really investigate that more. But let's go ahead and let her retire. With pride, with joy. Cherry Berry, please do not, we're going to put you on some contraceptives and I'll be back, my dear. Do not interbreed, Cherry Berry. <laughs> we're so busy all the time. All right, let's grab a cool quilt for Christmas joy. I think we'll use this green one. Oh, we had a sheep named Mistletoe at some point. Oh, I like that name. There we go. And then we're going to come over here. And can I rename that? Okay, I can't grab that quilt at all. Oh my gosh. Wait, I got it. I got it. And this is going to be Christmas Joy the Fifth's quilt. There we go. Yay! And we're expecting some doll sheep babies. Oh, that's so exciting. Ontario, he is such a good boy. All right. And I think we had another little male that we could release over here. So let me check. Tyler, how you doing, buddy? He's ready to go, friends. All right. We're going to go ahead and release Tyler. I think that Ice Ice Outpost is really going to be on this. I think we're going to be able to do this, no problem. Just get all these sheep into some new homes. I'm feeling pretty confident about this. All right, and then this is Tyler. Tyler's quilt. And they can add to the wild populations to make sure that the wild dull sheep are doing very well. Heck, okay, how far are we on the competition now? Let's find out. We're chewing our way there, guys. We've actually got a new reward. Ice Ice Outpost is being recognized for their excellence in trying to help out with the conservation. I think with all of the baby lambs that like are gonna be born left, right, and center, we're about to see a wonderful lambing season, very busy, with plenty to offer for the wild doll sheep populations. I'm beginning to think that like if we do manage to get gold statue, we should actually have a golden statue of a sheep in zoo crafting to, to be able to celebrate this. And we definitely need some new shepherds to get this place clean. And there's so much we could do to perk this place up and make it look nicer. <gasps> and look at that baby! And look at the little lamb, guys! Welcome! And let me pull up your guys' names from our name list. Or also the random comments from the previous video. Let me roll the random comment generator real quick. And welcome to little Jamie! Jamie, welcome. I hope you are very happy to be here as a doll sheep. Also, oh dear, oh, I wasn't fast enough. Our red pandas are making more red pandas. I really need to watch out for that right now. 
<laughs> oh, and Cole is about to mature. Yes. All right. We're going to go ahead and we are going to let Cole, the little doll sheep, mature. And I think we're really on this. Yes. Okay. I think that we really can do this because doll sheep are so prolific. And we have a whole nother field that we can fill up with doll sheep as well. So I'm pretty excited about that too. We also need to make sure that they are really being watched over and well taken care of during this time. And Udeli, the doll sheep, is about to have a baby. It really is a lambing season. <laughs> So let's go ahead and we're going to add in one of our wonderful patrons as a new keeper. And this is actually going to be our patron Haley. And Haley, welcome. You're going to come on in and we're actually going to make you a brand new work zone. It's kind of temporary. There we go. Now you have the library. We're going to have you assigned to basically all of this zone. And you're basically just going to be working on the uh, Nellie's Shepherd pen. There we are. And it looks like I can finally use apostrophes. Yes. And then hopefully having someone dedicated just 24 seven to these sheep will basically keep their exhibit really nice and clean, keep everybody happy. And we can start making it look really nice. It's been a long time since we've been in Ice Ice Outpost and how we like to decorate our worlds have really changed quite a bit. All right, and Cole's apparently grown up. He doesn't look super grown up, but Oliver's like warily watching him. Like, do I need to fight you, little dude? So we're gonna keep an eye on him for just a second. And while we wait, let's get some more diamond leaf willows. I've been trying to think about how we wanna decorate back here. And, oh, there he goes. He was impressed by my diamond leaf willows. Oh, and look, he's, he's headed off. He's like, I'm going to go butt heads with him. No, you're not, Cole. No, you're not. All right. There we go. Another doll sheep adopted out into the wilds. We're now up to 14 animals that we have been able to go ahead and see off. And I'm going to come on over. And we're going to add in, maybe on the back over here for our memories. Coals, let's change the colors. We're gonna go like black and gray to kind of go with the coal theme. Nice. And this is going to be a uh, Coles quilt. There. I love that. Oh, that's so cool. Also, I think we hit that time of year where it's like pretty dark basically year round. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. <laughs> But all right, guys, we are dashing around trying to get this lambing season really, really working. It's going to be kind of tricky. We need to come in, and this is going to be Shepherd. There we go. Shepherd Haley. And we're going to get her trained up. There we go. And she's going to take good care of these sheep. And hopefully we'll take care of this little field of sheep. And then we can take care of this little field of sheep. And as we get all of those rolling, hopefully we'll have enough to be able to slide in right before the challenge finishes in my time. Let's see. Yes, and another doll sheep is getting ready to mate. And celebrate with being able to get gold. And if not, at least Shepherd's Nook had this amazing time being able to celebrate all of their little baby sheep being born. So all right, guys, if you could, do please leave a like for all of the doll sheep now expecting offspring. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. Oh, they're so cute. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.